During COVID, we started to think, what is the future for farming and how can we address the issue of logistics and also food security issue. And that's why we ventured into putting our R&D into experimenting, growing high value crops like strawberries in LED vertical setups. Right now, we are in the process of patenting the light recipe, light parameter, and also the environmental parameters and the design of this, this facility. Our plan is to build commercial size facilities for the local market and to bring Brunei technology overseas. We want to export this technology. We need to find ways to grow things more sustainably with less land. Exporting this technology means that you can basically build it anywhere. When it's closer to market, you will have a much premium product. Uh, you also reduce the need for carbon emission logistic costs. So right now we are trying on a Korean variety and also a US variety that is very large in size. There's a long day variety from the US as well that has a stronger aroma. And we have also a short day cultivar, which is much softer, but a lot more juicy and sweet. LED light is energy efficient and it replaces uh, sunlight. When we can replace sunlight, we can stack plants on top of each other in multiple stories. You can save more space compared to outdoor farms. You can plant 700 times more. So uh, this multi-story racking comes with a drain system. Here we use different colors of lights compared to the traditional vertical farms because leafy vegetable requires a much simpler light uh, spectrum. Fruit bearing plants like strawberries, it requires a much complex light colors. It needs a certain amount of red, of blue, and a bit of green. At different stages of the life cycle, they require a different level. In, for the past two years, we have been experimenting and now we have finally found the right light recipe to grow a high yielding, high quality strawberries. We have a software that helps us monitor all the inputs, the yield, so that we can make smart decisions. We have a IoT sensor that helps us monitor the temperature so that we have a maximum and minimum temperature. It will auto detect and then changes so that it will stay within the range. And we also have enriched CO2 and humidity capabilities here so that we can mimic the environment that's best to grow strawberries. With this kind of setup, you can basically grow them all year round. Because we mimic the environment that is needed to grow strawberries, seedlings will arrive from the breeders. We will put them into uh, cocoa peat bags that holds the roots and we have dripping system which will start watering them daily and from there on we will have to wait two months until it starts to become very vegetative. The flower will start to emerge and from there the fruit will develop two months and from there on another five months of fruiting. We hand pollinated our strawberries but we have planned in the future to use bees inside this facility to pollinate them. With control environment, you are able to set any kind of parameters that you want and because of that you can grow a more consistent fruit in size, quality and flavours and sweetness compared to outdoor crops. 